Well, we've got a good chance to make up from our rainfall deficit, which is now is approaching four and a half to five inches for the year as we go through the next couple days. Good morning. I'm Storm Track 12 meteorologist Les Still. Not going to be a complete washout of the first part of this week, but really I can't find a four to six hour period during the days that we don't want to at least stand the chance for some scattered showers and storms around. So we settle into a very unsettled weather pattern for this week with the periods of showers and storms. And again, potentially is there for some pretty good soaking rainfall. We could be looking at anywhere between maybe an inch to two inches of rain possible when all is said and done with this system. And as the case normally is, when the showers and storms get going, it is going to be the potential for the afternoon and evening hours to have there for some of the heavier downpours and maybe even some of the soaking rains that potentially could have some gusty winds and maybe even some uh, brief flash flooding across the inland spots uh, for uh, poor drainage areas. Again, not expecting it to be widespread for us here in eastern Carolina, but it is something that we are going to continue to track for you. As a result, we'll put our Storm Track 12 threat cracker in the medium category from now into the middle part of the week with those showers and afternoon storms that will be scattered about. Here's your Storm Track 12 forecast. Temperatures, uh, seasonal levels, talking about upper 70s to near 80 degrees, even at the beaches, not all that bad. Uh, just not greatest beach weather with scattered showers and storms around, especially for the afternoon and evening hours here. As we head on into tonight, I'll put in some chance to see a stray shower, especially east of Highway 17. Otherwise, it's going to be a warm, muggy night and temperatures very similar to where we had this morning. As we head through today tomorrow, almost a carbon copy of today with scattered showers and storms around. Probably the storm, stronger storms for tomorrow afternoon and evening hours. And again, the biggest threat is going to be from heavy downpours and potentially some gusty winds. Now, this is the same storm system that soaked portions of uh, Texas early to the middle part of the last week as it was uh, moving its way across the deep south now. Uh, all this rich tropical moisture has been pulled northbound. And we're still going to continue with these scattered showers and storms as a way the, the jet stream is configured for us here in eastern Carolina. And as these little ripples of the jet stream move along, that's what's going to enhance the showers and thunderstorms over this southwesterly flow through most of the layers of the atmosphere. As a result, that gives us a warm, muggy start to the day and keeps it even warm and muggy for the afternoon hours here. This is what Storm Track 12 future track looks like as far as the jet stream level. Notice how the upper level trough is kind of carved out over the eastern portions of the United States here. And we've got these little reinforcing shots of upper support that kind of rotate on through. And as they do, that's what's going to enhance the showers and storms for us here in eastern Carolina. Notice even by Wednesday, we've still got the trough axis across the east here. And then eventually, it does start to work its way off the coast. And that will eventually, by the weekend, allow some warmer westerly winds to come in here as this low pressure moves off. Now, here's one caveat, though. This is something I am keeping my eye on. Forecast models are showing you a cutoff low pressure developing off the southeast coast. And if that develops, we will have to watch the potential for a storm to come out of the Caribbean and head up along the eastern seaboard. Yesterday, the models were on board with this. But now, today, they're shifting it offshore by about two to 300 miles. So this is something I am going to continue to track and monitor as we head on in through the next several days. Meanwhile, as we take a look at Storm Track 12 Future Track, really don't get bogged down with the exact details of what the model is showing you as to the arrival time of the showers and storms. What it's showing you is the heaviest rainfall will remain off to our west through the day today as these little disturbances ride more so across Charlotte and Raleigh and Fayetteville. But with the heat of the day, some clearing, uh, not clearing, let's call it peaks of sunshine, we will see scattered showers and storms in our neighborhood, and we'll see those last and through the evening hours taper off overnight tonight, and then get some more developing through the daytime hours tomorrow with showers and thunderstorms scattered about. Again, when all is said and done, by the time we hit the middle of the week, we do have the potential of seeing anywhere between maybe a uh, half an inch to maybe an inch, inch and a half of rainfall, just depending on where some of the heavier action does fall. So here's your Storm Track 12 planning forecast. We'll keep the chance for scattered showers and storms in through the forecast, at least in through Thursday. And then again, we will watch a weak high pressure slide in here for the end of the week. All eyes on the weekend for Saturday and Sunday really depend on if a storm system will or will not be off of our coast and if it will form or not. That's something we'll continue to keep you updated on. Until then, I'm Storm Track 12 meteorologist Les Still.